everyone seems to be promising to become net zero these days. Governments say they want to reach net zero by 2050. Businesses too. But what is net zero? And what would a net zero world even look like? A net zero world would run on way more clean energy for electric cars and trucks, in buildings and in industries. It would be a less wasteful world, a world not nearly as hot and dangerous as the one we'll get if we keep burning so much coal, oil, or gas. That sounds pretty good, right? But how do we get there? Well, let's go to the big board. Net zero is essentially a math problem. We need to find a way to subtract just as much carbon from the atmosphere as we're putting into it. And that is a really, really hard problem. We need to cut the amount of dirty carbon we're creating, getting it down as close to zero as possible, starting right now. But it's hard to get rid of carbon emissions entirely. So to be truly net zero, we'll need to go after whatever carbon we still do need to produce. That can happen in two ways. One, we can develop new technologies to capture carbon before it gets into the air or drain the carbon back out of the atmosphere. Or two, we can plant more trees and protect the natural world that sucks carbon out of the air, naturally. The result of all that subtraction, a carbon equation that equals zero. And that is the zero in net zero. Just do the math.